spacecraft of the future will have safer and more reliable navigation, rendezvous, and docking capability, thanks to innovative new technology developed in collaboration by NASA, Lockheed Martin, and Ball Aerospace. A new system will be proven by the sensor test for Orion Relative Navigation Risk Mitigation, also known as STORM. This test will be carried out on orbit during the STS-134 mission, the final flight of Space Shuttle Endeavour. The STORM flight test will demonstrate the first U.S.-developed highly reliable navigation sensor called the Vision Navigation Sensor, or VNS, designed expressly for America's next generation spacecraft, such as the Orion Crew Exploration Vehicle. Storm sensor and state-of-the-art docking camera will greatly improve the relative navigation technology needed for vehicles to safely rendezvous and dock in space. The system also features a cross-cutting hazard avoidance application that will ensure safe landings on asteroids, the moon, or Mars. On flight day 13 of STS-134, storm capabilities will be put to the test during an unprecedented on-orbit maneuver piloted by Commander Mark Kelly. Once we undock and separate from Space Station, we'll do a re-rendezvous on a different kind of profile that's optimized to gather more storm data and be somewhat more similar to what Orion would do during a uh, Space Station approach. The storm test flight represents an iconic moment in history as it ties together three generations of NASA's human spaceflight programs. This is the first and only time the Space Shuttle, International Space Station, and Orion will be able to collaborate on orbit. The three programs together allowed us a, a great opportunity to test the sensor in that relevant space environment, which you're not going to be able to uh, basically uh, reproduce on the ground. The Storm hardware components consist of a high-definition docking camera, advanced laser-based vision navigation sensor, an avionics assembly to provide power and record data, a space-certified laptop computer, and reflective docking targets that were installed on the International Space Station during STS-131. The fundamental part of rendezvous docking is being able to know where your target is. Acting as the eyes of the spacecraft, the storm system will demonstrate the capability to automatically seek out a docking target and define a safe path for the vehicle to rendezvous and dock. The retro reflectors on the space station docking target reflect the light from the vision navigation sensor laser beam to provide accurate range and relative position measurements. Orion's next generation sensor technology provides continuous measurements from more than three miles to within five feet, three times the range capability of the current relative navigation sensor. Having a reliable and accurate sensor is very important for any kind of mission that the agency might explore. You know, not only crewed types of missions, but cargo missions are required to, to be able to dock. And in order to do that, you have to have a sensor to be able to accomplish that job. As its nickname indicates, STORM was a whirlwind project. When given the opportunity to fly and test the system on one of the last shuttle missions, the Orion STORM team kicked into high gear to rapidly design, build, and test the components to be ready in record time to make the flight. There's nothing like a fast burn, high profile program to get a team to gel together and be very cohesive. And uh, we've managed to do that here at Ball. Everybody came together, did, did their jobs, did what they needed to do. Uh, weekends, holidays weren't off limits. Everyone really put their all into it. We all have the same objectives. We all want to see this fly. So we work together to make it happen. The Orion spacecraft's innovative sensor technology will significantly improve astronaut crew safety for future human spaceflight. But it can also be used to help those of us here on Earth. Climate and environmental observations, robotic maneuvering, topographical surveillance, and hazard avoidance systems are just a few examples of the terrestrial applications. The biggest one is collision avoidance. So if you had a set of uh, quote unquote eyes like a talk about you know where you are relative to a particular rock or a car or anything else you're able to to bounce that laser off and get a return and you know what your distance is so collision avoidance is a, is a big application for this kind of technology. They've done a superb job getting this thing ready I mean it's very impressive to see how well they've worked with the NASA team and we've got a lot of confidence in the work they've done Storm technology will soon undergo additional in-flight testing on board the International Space Station. 
the vision navigation sensor will measure the velocity and range of vehicles approaching and docking to the station.